Realtree's Midwest Whitetail is brought to you by Nikon, Ozonix, Redneck Blinds, Rocket Broadheads, RTP Outdoors, Trophy Rock, Spot Hog Releases, Wilderness Athlete, Viking Solutions, and Realtree. It's the morning of October 13th and uh, Josh and I are settled into a, a spot that we've had a lot of good sits together over the years. We just had about a dozen turkeys come by, all hands. Um, but this spot is a little internal plot in these back in these pines. In the spring I frost seeded it to clover and the clover did, did really well. Um, and this plot's had a lot of, act, uh, of activity all summer long and, and into the fall here. So hoping to see some deer this morning. Uh, it's probably mid to upper 50s and super calm. It's going to be calm all day long. Uh, easterly winds going to bring in some rain later tonight and into tomorrow. So hopefully some deer will be up on their feet late this morning. The buck in particular that we're going in after in this spot is Reggie Jackson, Mr. October. He's a deer that uh, past two years, um, I've had pictures of him basically from July and August through about mid-October and then he's gone until the following July and August. So that's happened two years in a row. Obviously we're getting close to that mid-October time frame so it'll be really interesting to see what he does as a five and a half year old he uh, decides to stick around longer or not uh, so far he's been pretty active in this plot and uh, especially in the mornings which is the main reason I decided to come in here so we'll see what happens gonna sit back and uh, wait for the deer movement to pick up It's about 9 o'clock and we're about to wrap up our hunt, even though about 10-15 minutes ago <clears throat> we just had a mature buck uh, that I have a lot of pictures of walk through the plot. He's a deer that's been hanging out quite a bit with that buck I call Reggie, uh, but it's cool to see him. Probably halfway through the hunt we could hear a deer thrash in a tree and could hear it paw on the ground and uh, I could just get small glimpses through the pines of two bucks kind of sparring and uh, grooming each other for a little while. 
And then, like I said, um, I do think that mature buck was one of those deer. I could see a deer with, with some darker colored antlers and I'm, I'm pretty sure it was that buck. So it's cool to see him. It's kind of cool to see what he did. You know, there's the culvert plot and then the mowed path. And he cut straight through it, got 10 yards inside the timber and walked literally 10 yards on the other side of the path. So, you know, where, where most of the, the most of the deer, younger deer, would walk the path, you know, mature buck, he got just inside the woods and, and stayed where he was comfortable in there. So always cool to see that that behavior from those mature deer and uh, cool to see a buck up on his feet around 9 a.m. on October 13th. So we're going to start packing things up and head down and uh, potentially make a game plan for either later today or tomorrow.